That was not satisfying. Look at how baggy these gloves are on me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I upload a new video every Friday. We're in the middle of doing my home office redecorating thing and we still have the wall behind me that needs to be decorated. I'm thinking of doing like a gallery wall behind this dollhouse or above it so I can showcase just some of the different like art that I have and other pictures and pieces like that. That leads us into the craft we're going to be doing this week. We have to go back in time a little bit to last spring. My husband works for basically like city infrastructure. So he travels to stations all over his area. And at one of the stations, one of his coworkers had found a dead butterfly on the ground and put it inside on a desk. Like if anyone wants this dead butterfly and my husband knowing who I am as a person was like, oh, my wife will definitely want that dead butterfly. And he was so right. And I saved it for the right occasion, which I think we've come to the right time. I bought a shadow box frame and I want to mount it and put it in my gallery wall. I think that could be really cute. I've never done anything like this before. So we're gonna gather some materials and do some research and then let's, let's mount this butterfly. I found this eight by eight black shadow box frame on Amazon. And actually all of the materials that I needed to purchase for this, I was able to find on Amazon. So I will put links to those in the description in case you want to follow along and try this project yourself. These are nickel plated steel T pins that are typically used for entomology and taxidermy. The smallest quantity that I could find of these was a box of 120, but I do anticipate that I'll be able to use these for a ton of future projects. I grabbed my glue gun, a pair of scissors, and this fabric that I had in my sewing kit from Leftover Projects. It's a nice black velvet that I think will be a really pretty background behind the butterfly. I think I wanna add a few little decorations in addition to the butterfly, so I gathered some odds and ends left over from previous crafts, just in case I wanna use something. When Chase brought this butterfly home this past spring, I did some research to make sure I could get the butterfly to lay flat and to dry flat. So it's been in this Tupperware container in a flat position. And I spritzed a little bit of Lysol in there just to prevent molding. You can tell she's not laying perfectly flat, but since I have a deep shadow box, I'm not concerned about that. I added an extra layer of cardboard to this frame backing in the hopes that it would be a little bit easier to stick the pins into, but I would suggest if you try this at home to maybe add a layer of foam instead. I cut a scrap of my fabric to be roughly a couple of inches larger than the backing for this frame so that I have some room to fold over and hot glue the edges down. After I glued all four edges down, I went back in with some scissors to cut off some of the excess trim in the corners so that it would fit into the frame more smoothly. Oh, and if you have two small white haired dogs and are working with black velvet, the lint roller is your friend. I wanted to get a feel for the tension of sticking the pins into the cardboard before I had the butterfly placed. So I just stuck a few random pins in there to get a feel for it first. Now here's where things get delicate. Hopefully you have more delicate hands than I do. You wanna stick this pin just to the right of the center of the thorax. And I was a little rough. The thorax broke in half as I was trying to put the pin in. So I stopped filming and ran downstairs and Chase was really sweet and helped me glue her back together. So no harm, no foul. She's steady in the center of the frame and I'm just putting some leaves around her to give her a little bit of a pretty setting and then we're ready to put the case back together. Okay. 
I have to say I was a little intimidated by this project and worst case scenario the butterfly literally broke into two and it still turned out fine. So I would say if you're nervous about trying something like this, just do it. Even if you break everything into pieces, you can still salvage it and make a pretty cool project. I'm just going to give the glass a quick wipe down with some Windex and then we're throwing her on the wall. Thank you guys so much for joining me along this journey of a project. I really do like how it turned out and I can't wait to finish my gallery wall, which reminds me, we'll be doing that next week. So make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell turned on so that you can be notified when that video goes live. Thanks again and I'll see you guys next time.